Hey everybody, it's Tuesday and it means it's time for another Tutorial Tuesday. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at star stacks and how to stack your star images to create star trails. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me on this Tutorial Tuesday. I'm Will from Will Downs Photography. I can be found at willdowns.com or Facebook and Instagram at Will Downs Photo. In today's tutorial, we're gonna take a look at star stacks and how to stack your star images to create light trails. I've put a link in the description on where to download the program. Once downloaded onto your PC or Mac, all you have to do is open the program as I have here. You have two options. You can either drag or drop in your image or hit this little folder right up here. Today we're going to do this two different ways. We're going to do it as lighten, which is basically taking the lightest pixels in each image, and that's what will be displayed. And then we're also going to do it in comet mode, which is a good way to fill in gaps. Gaps are caused by whether you have to change your battery on your camera, maybe you had to remove some images because of an overhead plane, or the Google satellites crashed your photo like they did for me. I actually had to remove about 15 images from this set because I literally had the Google satellites go right through the middle, one after another. So right here in blending mode, I have lighten. If you click on it, there are a couple different options. Gap filling, which is what we'll do next. Darken will take the darkest pixels. Add will add pixels, subtract. For this demonstration, we're gonna use lighten. Once all our images are loaded into star stacks, all you have to do is run the program. Double check, make sure everything's checked and click this button right here. And what Star Stacks is gonna do is it's gonna start overlaying each image. This process can take anywhere from two to three minutes to up to 10, depending on the size of your file. These are shot on a D850 at 31 millimeters F2.8 for 30 second shots each. One really important thing to note is Star Stacks does not align your images. So it's really important to shoot your images with a tripod Get them as close as possible. Don't forget this is a night image, so it's not going to be tack sharp to begin with. The light you see on the cliffs there is from the setting moon behind me. So as Star Stacks is stacking my images, you can clearly see my star trail starting to form. There are two ways people typically shoot star trails. A rapid succession of images set at about 30 seconds. That is what I've done here. Or some people will just leave their shutter open. 8 minutes, 10 minutes, I've seen really long time. Saw one person do it two hours once. It all depends on the look you're after. This image was shot in the Yosemite Valley in Yosemite, California, Yosemite National Park. Okay, now that Star Stacks is done stacking my photo, all hundred of them, we're gonna take a look and see how I did. You can look around, you can zoom in and out. Let's zoom in. And it actually looks really good. You can go to one to one. At one to one, you really start to see the blurriness, especially here in the ridge. Um, that's basically because I have no, I haven't aligned anything. So one thing you may have noticed is I had no dark images. If I was shooting this image for a poster or to be printed out and framed, I would have definitely used dark images. They're really easy to shoot. All you gotta do is put your lens cap on, keep your camera settings the same pop off a dozen or so. We combine them in here. What they are used to do is eliminate hot pixels, which every digital camera has. Let's see if we can find one here. There we go. Right here, 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 here. Those are hot pixels. It's just, it's a downfall of DSLRs and mirrorless cameras. But for your typical posting on Facebook, Instagram, Nobody's going to see them. So that was my intent with this photo. So I just didn't take the time to shoot them. Now that Star Stacks is done shooting our image, we're going to save. I usually save to my desktop. And once saved, we're going to show you the gap filling, which is another way that Star Stacks can process your image. 
We're going to use comet mode. Now, when would you use gap filling? Gap filling is typically going to be used if you had to change your battery. Remove images such as uh, Google satellites. I hate you, Google, even though you own YouTube. And we need to decide on our star trails, whether we want short or long. Typically, just put it all the way over to long. If you had your dark images, you could subtract them or say and save after each step. And we're going to rerun this and see if there's really a difference in these images. Now, because comment mode and gap filling is on, this process will take a little bit longer than normal. So StarStacks has finished processing our image. Now what we can do with gap filling is we can do a threshold overlay. And that should come up automatically after the processed image. The idea here is you want the green to just be on your star trails. See how we have a little bit right down here? We want to eliminate that, so we're going to turn that threshold up a little bit higher until that's gone. Okay. So what this is, this is how much gap filling will be applied. You can go less. Let's blow that up a little bit so we can see. Let's zoom right in. So that would be less, and or we can go more. And see how the green bars got thicker? Especially right here. Take a look right here where my mouse is. Looks a little unnatural to go all the way. Good way is about one notch between halfway. And then just like before, after we're happy with our image, we go ahead and save that. And we're going to change this name to Gap Fill. So now let's close out Star Stacks and let's take a look at each image. Here are two images right here. This will be the first one. And this is our second one. As you can see in the gap fill one, there's a lot less space. Uh, if you look right in this area right here, completely filled. Whichever one you use is going to be your personal preference. So one thing to keep in mind as you choose which type of star trails to do, gap fill will not use the lightest pixels. As you see these two images, the one on the right is the one we did normally. The one on the left is gap fill. Look at the cliff here. It used my lighted images from earlier on in the shoot when the moon was still high and stacked them. And if you look here on the gap fill one, very dark. It all depends on what kind of look you're looking for. For me, it would definitely be more of the normal image. So that's about it. That's how you do star trails using star stacks. Don't forget, I put a link in the description on where to get the program. It is free. 
available for both PC and Mac. Thank you for joining me in this quick little tutorial for Star Stacks. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below if there's something you'd like to learn how to do the easy way. I'm Will from Will Downs Photography. Keep shooting.